Okay, uh, welcome to this quick little video tutorial. What the aim of this video is to reduce the file size of a recorded video to allow a more speedier, faster upload to YouTube or any other video sharing service. Um, the example here is I've taken this video on holiday. This was taken with a normal digital camera. Now, because it's a small little device and they're not very particularly very powerful, they don't do very good compression, um, which leaves the file size rather large. So if you look at this video, it's own it's 115 megabytes. Now if we open it, 115 megabytes. Now on a slower connection, maybe in a one meg connection, but it's going to take a long time to upload. So what we're going to do here is compress it locally on your local machine, get the file size down a lot and then that will allow you to upload it to YouTube a lot faster or like I said any other video sharing site. So the first thing we need to do is get some software which will reduce the file size, compress the file size of this video. Now what you need to do is search, Google's probably the best way to do this, the software is called Handbrake. So we'll search, do Handbrake video, search as a keyword and you'll find the software. Now this is a free and open source software, which means basically it's free to use, don't have to pay or penny money or anything. Um, it comes in lots of different flavors, so which is your operating system? I'm actually on Linux, so I, I've already installed this, but if you're on Windows you would uh, download the, the Windows version. Now the GUI is graphical user interface, that's probably the one you want. So if you just grab that, um, it'll start to download it, save it to your desktop install it and away you go uh, we'll cancel that I've already installed this so let me just open it up for you now this is uh, I'm using Ubuntu here this is a Linux uh, distro and I'm sure you're probably going to use Windows or maybe a Mac it'll look different but the application runs exactly the same so find it uh, once you've installed it and run it uh, sorry about this uh, no. Doing something previously. So this is what you'll end up with. Once you've installed it, this is the software it's got handbrake. Now it might look quite complex, which it may be, but ultimately we do not need any of these options really. This is all if you want to customize things, we really don't need to do that. The only thing you're interested in really is is the source. This is we're gonna load this video into this application. So if you choose source, it'll choose it'll open up the file browser. Um, again this is Linux, so it lists file browser looks different to yours. Um, Windows will load up as default one. Just select the video you're after um, and then open it. And there we go. Now you'll notice it will scan the 